Good morning, welcome back to the allotment. Lovely and sunny, a little bit cold, but I'm sure once I crack on getting these dahlias out, we should be okay. Um, probably won't get them all out in this session. Um, I've got a little bit to do later on today. So I'm gonna get some out and get them into the greenhouse and get them on the top and get them drying. I'm also gonna look to prune down my um, canners that I've got, I've brought down here to store over the winter. And finally finished the um, compost bays. Uh, not totally finished, just got to hinge the doors. I've decided I'm gonna do it, but there's no rush for it. As long as it's covered over, it's fine. I'll take you down and show you that. Let's crack on before this wind gets up and get these dahlias out. Gently tease these. Unfortunately, I've not got a fork. Sounded like a broken record, aren't I? Because, because they're still not brought it back. But, fingers crossed, it won't be too long now. Rise those up. And what I want to try and do now is just get the excess off. As you can see, it's been really, really damp down here. But, they seem to be nice and firm, so there's been no problem there. So I'm going to get the excess off and get them on the bench. And I'll crack on and get another one. And then I'll just cut these tops down a little bit more once it's all dry. But that seems healthy enough, so if we can get that dried, we should be fine. I've got to these just in time. I don't think they would have taken much more of the damp. Fingers crossed. One more here. This looks like a small one. come away nicely so that one should dry out fairly quick once I brush all the mud off. Don't lose the label. So I've managed to get all the dahlias out. I didn't realise that I knew I had around 14, 14 or 15. Um, but I forgot I've got the big one in the planter which is going to stay in there and I'm going to cover over with something to keep the rain off and keep it dry. Hopefully that should be suffice for um, seeing it through the winter. And then I've got a few at home. So I've managed to get all these dahlias out. Um, they're on this bench now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get them underneath the bench. Yep, yeah, it's starting to get a little bit cold. Um, I don't think we're going to get a frost that's going to penetrate through the glass and on onto these corns. So I'm going to risk leaving them uncovered underneath the bench till they're dry. Um, what I'm going to do now is, I'll get these underneath there and I'll get across and bring the cameras over. I think a little bit of WD-40 is required here. Right, just get these out of here. Get in amongst. So as you can see, I've got a number of canners. Um, I'm going to get them out. I'll take them into the greenhouse, prune them down there. I think it'd be much easier. Well, back in the warmth of the greenhouse. Um, as I say, these canners. Um, were divided last year. Originally I had about three and I ended up with 14. Um, I'll give a couple away. 
but these are the remaining ones. Um, so all I do at the beginning, at the end of the season, is just give these a real trim back. So I go down about, I leave about two inch of the stem and, and take it away anything that's dead, like these leaves here. So that basically you've got a really tidy plant. Um, I'm going to nip these off as well because I don't want them to get frosted and diseased or anything like that over the winter period. So there you go, that's a nice kind of all tidy and neat. And what I'll do with these is last year I kept these under the bench um, with a little bit of fleece and hessian sack over them. They don't need watering. Um, just leave them to sit there and next year you'll see it starts to sprout and away we go again and I think next year after next season I'll look to divide all these again um, and might even flock a couple you never know right I'll crack on I think I've got about 10 more to do and then I'll take you down with all the waste to the compost base so there we go, that's those all pruned back and I've just stacked them at the bottom here, right at the back there. Um, as I say, the dahlias will, once they're dried out, um, they will be putting sawdust in pots and stored in the shed. But these cannas, because they're in the pots, they'll just go under the staging just with a, a fleece over the top of them and they seem to enjoy that so right I'll take you down to the bottom of the um, bottom of the compost heaps and have a look at that oh, I've still got all this to shift as well all these pots need to be emptied into the beds and all that can be composted too jobs 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 let's crack on so here we are down at the bottom of the at the back of the loading bay uh, the log stores and as you can see compost bins that were have now gone that's going to become the loading bay um, I've only got three compost bins left I'll show you inside those now, I was saying that I will go into the big bays because I didn't think these Daleks work that well and I don't think they do I think they just take a lot longer but look at this stuff I started putting this stuff in here probably around January February and when I emptied them out that's what we had. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's all gonna go into the second bay because that one's full. I'll take you across to have a look at that. So this is the first bay. As you saw in the last video, I filled it up with um, some stuff out of my tum bags that I'd saved. So that's right down at the bottom. But I would say that half of it is full of this stuff that came out of the um, Daleks and it's absolutely stunning stuff it really is um, I've not got myself a compost bin thermometer yet but I'm hoping to get one shortly and see how these fare um, I've not hinged them I've still that to do but there's no rush now I can take my time as you can see the composting material is mounting up pretty chuffed with them so that's another couple of jobs ticked off the list um, still plenty to go um, but I think that's me for today I think I think I'm gonna have a cup of tea um, I'm gonna go update that list of jobs that have been done and I'm gonna get myself off and have a bit of a breather uh, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank everybody that's been watching the videos and commenting um, I really do appreciate that and um, thank you to the new subscribers. I'm around 928, 30ish so I'm really going to give it a big push before Christmas to see if I can hit that thousand mark. That would be really good. So if you're watching and you haven't subscribed it would be really appreciated if you did. Um, and for all those other people out there that watch the videos, try and spread the word. You spread the word about my channel. 
I'll do the same for you. So, until next week, guys, have a fantastic weekend. Stay warm. We're going to get a little bit of sun over here um, this weekend, but it's going to be rather crisp, which I don't mind. Um, have a great weekend. Take care. Thanks for watching and happy growing.